Hi, beautiful. You look like a damn snacky poo today. Oof. Thank you for being here. Today, we're talking about temporary hair color. It is one of my favorite things. I used to use temporary hair color all the time, and you guys may or may not have even known it. Sometimes you guys thought it was permanent color, and I was like, girl, it's not real. This is just fake. It looks really real. If you're wondering what temporary hair color is, well, it is color that you can put in your hair. It shows up instantly and it washes right out after one wash. It does not stain your hair. It doesn't stain your hair. It's just an easy way to change your hair color all the time without any damage and no commitment. We'll be testing out four of them today. And once I pick the best one out of all four, I'll be coloring my own hair with that dye. I'm excited to have some different color hair for the day. It's been a while. Maybe take some photos. It'll be cute. Follow me on Instagram at brymondoyc. Um, it's link below. And yeah, let's figure out which temporary hair dye is the best. Let's do it. So we're gonna begin with the one I used very often, which is the Colorista One Day Color and the shade purple. I'm gonna put gloves on because this gets real messy real quick. You know what? I have a lot of things to do this week and I don't want stained hands. It doesn't actually stain. It just like leaves a cast on your skin sometimes. So be careful, especially with these sprays. Ooh. It gets everywhere. Well, you're about to see what happens. I'm gonna part her hair down the middle. I grabbed a piece of paper because this is so important to have when you're doing this stuff with the spray. Cover your bathroom or wherever you're doing this or do it outside. The thing with spray is that it doesn't really like get on everything. You have to like really move the hair and like, ugh, it's annoying. I will start now in the back. The best thing about this is that the hair tends to still be like movable when you're done. <laughs> this isn't safe for me to be doing it in a closed environment. You're definitely gonna lose a few brain cells doing this. <laughs> okay, I guess. Now you can see that there is so much stuff on her neck. This is the only thing I hated about this process was that I had to like wash my face. Also the color payoff is kind of disappointing right now. It's like, where's the color? Let me just attempt to make this all even. It's empty. That's so upsetting. Well, good thing I have another can of this purple because girl, you're not done. This cannot be safe for me. If I keep doing this, I'm gonna... <clears throat> I might... <coughs> I might... I mean, her hair is definitely purple. Does it look like a blob? Yes. And does it look bad? Yeah. That was tough for me, Miss Manny Quinn. That one <laughs> was tough. I'm getting it all over her face, trying to clean it off. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully, what you do next is going to be a lot more user-friendly and a lot better because colorista, oh... I'm disappointed. Okay, up next we have our Manic Panic Die Hard in green. I'm feeling good about this one. Let's see the directions real quick. I, I can't see them. They're blocked out by a big price tag. Awesome. I don't need directions. Totally. Ooh. Oh. No, totally. That's disgusting. I don't know if her hair is light enough for this. No. Okay, actually, no. What is going on today? Am I supposed to blow dry it in? We're gonna go through this entire tube to finish this head. It is turning green and it's a lot less messy, I will say that. So that makes me happy, but it's really hard to get this stuff in the hair. Her hair looks like seaweed. There's nothing wrong with seaweed. If you're watching, like I have nothing against you. Like I honestly actually like the taste of you, um, but her hair looks gross. Okay, update. I ripped the label off the back to see what it said. It doesn't have any directions. I don't know if I'm supposed to blow dry this in, but I feel like I'm not supposed to leave it like this. I also don't want to like wreck my blow dryer and get green all over it. What do we do? What should do you know what we should do? Should we f*** up my blow dryer? <laughs> you want to? I knew you'd want me to f*** up my blow dryer because you mad. You always mad that I'm f***ing up your hair. I'm just gonna try and blow dry just a little bit. I guess. <sighs> God. I quit. Now, 
That's it for me. That did not work. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Like I genuinely don't understand the product. I just tried to blow dry it and it was so sticky. Like there was like gum in the hair. I mean, I guess if you want to do like a ponytail and put your hair back with it and color the ponytail, it would work. But this is just not gonna cut it for me. <laughs> I just took a little second to do something um, as you can see. I was thinking like, okay, people probably aren't gonna use these to color their entire head a different color unless they're a dude and like they can, you know, get away with that messy like gel type of look. So I was like, okay, what if a girl just did like a front piece and then blow dried her hair with it? Honestly, this feels so bad. If you're gonna do like a front piece moment, I would rather you do it with this. You know what I mean? This just still feels like hard hairspray and it doesn't even look good. Like there's all little clumps of gel in there. It's so gross. And look at my hair. All right, let's move on to my final thoughts about these two products. I'm actually like not that mad. Now that I sit down and really think about it, it's way better than what we saw. This Colorista spray is $10. I will say like, I like the spray because it dries instantly and you're not gonna get that like pomade gross feeling after. I mean, I hate the scent. I think that was pretty noticeable. <laughs> I still don't feel very good. The color payoff was good. I felt like it really covered the darker hair and looked nice. If you do this in smaller sections or you just wanna do like the front of your hair or the underneath, it will work way better than trying to do like an entire section like I just did. Like that was so stupid. I should have done a small section and like called it a day. But this also works good on a hair like mine. It's short and I can like spray it on, but it gets all over your skin and it's kind of like messy. So that's the downside. It's hard to get even and knock it on your scalp. And if your scalp's all colored, it looks really ugly. Let's move on to this piece of work of a product. This retails for $9.50. For what they made the product for, it actually is great. You know, it is supposed to be a gel. I probably just didn't use it how they would have liked somebody to use it. I'm sure this is probably geared towards more people with short hair, but you really can't even do like small pieces with it because it just gets everywhere and it's so sticky. I don't know. It was so not user friendly. Just don't use it how I did it and maybe it'll work good for you. If you're looking for a gel that also colors, well, it, this definitely does that. I think we can do a little bit better. And yeah, with that all said, I guess we should begin with the next two and hopefully we get something good here. Hopefully they actually work. However, my standards are set very low now. The two next products are different from the ones we just used and you will see that in a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm more hopeful than ever because I want something to work so bad. Mm, I want it to work, like please. I washed her hair twice and her scalp is still stained purple in some spots, whatever. We're gonna be using next poser paste. Okay, so this is one I've heard of but I've never actually used before. This one says stir before using. Okay, weird. Uh, apply to clean dry hair add more for greater color intensity and dries quickly. So brush it out for a softer look. Good to know. I guess I'm just going to apply to the front piece of her hair. I don't think I need to do the entire side. Like that was really obnoxious last time and way too much work for me. You guys know me. Just trying to do the least and do the most at the same time. Interesting texture. It's definitely like a putty feeling like Play-Doh, but softer. I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of would stick my fingers in here all day. Okay. Uh, that is not, yeah, okay. Ooh, it smells really good too. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of good color payoff. Ooh. Oh, wow, my interest has peaked. Hmm, okay. I guess I'm just trying to figure out like how this is going to work or get soft. Excuse me, miss. Put your head up, thank you. You had one job and it's to keep your head up and you're not doing it well. I mean, this is not gonna go under her entire head. Please just work for me. What did I do to you? What did I do to these freaking colors today? Like they all hate me. I'm sorry, what? Let's try combing this in the disappointment. Can you see it on my face? I don't know what to say. This is bad. Dries fast? What is drying? There's nothing drying here. I guess I'll just keep combing it until I rip out all of her hair or until it dries. <laughs> it's all over my pants. This is gross. That's enough. I'm gonna call it quits on that one because that is even worse than the green one. I mean, her hair is not gonna move and it's all gross and it's all over me. I hate this. <coughs> it's in my nostrils. Let's move on. Ew. <coughs> okay, lastly, we have Mofajang and it's called Hair Coloring Material. Seems sketchy. Good thing I'm into sketchy things. Um, This product is easy to wash, giving rise to no harm to hair quality. Yes, indeed, that is the exact sentence. I actually did read that correctly. As a disposable product, it is water soluble. What? Method of application, wash your hair and then take a little of hair clay to rub with fingers only. Then apply to your hair in a 
button up way with fingers gently until apply uniformly. That's not even like broken English. That's literally not even English. What the f is a button up way? So let's dip in here. Ooh, it's much more pliable than the last one. Ooh, this actually does look pretty. Ooh, and it's soft and it's not making her hair feel gross. Wait a second. Are we about to get something here? The last thing we try. Wait, I'm liking this. Let's give it a little comb root and it combs through. Whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little blow dry. Whoa, <laughs> definitely looks greasy. I think I put a little bit too much, but that color payoff, and also my hands, beautiful. Her hair is still shiny. Okay, well, let's move on to my final thoughts about these two products. Okay, let's talk about the Good Die Young Poser Paste. It retails for around $18. Girl, you're doing too much. I don't know what this would be good for. To be honest with you, I really can't exactly think of a good thing to say about it. You could just do so much better, like so easily. It was really like crusty, dusty, and nasty and didn't have good color payoff. It was so dull looking and there was no shine. It's way too expensive for what it is. I just really didn't like the experience. I don't know who's using that and thinking like we should keep selling this. Is that so mean? I mean, whatever, the truth sucks. And then we have the wild card, Mofa Jang, which has an a label that's not even really in English. It's like partially English. And let me just tell you guys, it was the best I've used all day. That's right. This is our winner, baby. It is only $10. It leaves the hair shiny, looking healthy still. You can actually comb through it. It's soft. For temporary hair color, I think this is one of the best. Also, I really do still like colory stuff for certain uses. Um, it's definitely the one that makes your hair look the most realistic colored because it is a spray. Pomades are a lot less messy, a little easier to use. It doesn't get all over everything in your bathroom or wherever you do it or all over your face. These two for different occasions, but today I'm going with Mofa Jang. I want to put this in my head. I want to see how it really works on myself. So why don't we do it? Uh, I'm excited. I've been meaning to color my hair. Oh, I'm so excited. Just go in, I guess. <gasps> okay, this looks really cool. Wait, I'm obsessed. Wait, this is so easy. <gasps> Why have I never used this before? Um, And yes, guys, I do have a mullet. I've been growing it out. I know I see all the comments being like, does Brad have a mullet? I'm like, yeah, girl. What did you think I was gonna do? Not actually do it when I told you I was going to? Like, come on. This is like startling how good I feel. I'm gonna my little rat tail. <laughs> Literally not one person can tell me I don't look good right now. I won't believe you. It almost feels like conditioner. Like it makes it pretty easy to comb through your hair, which I really like. A little bit more. Yeah. Always a little bit more. Let me go check it out. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do I look really good or is it just me? I want blue hair now. Like, it's definitely not perfectly applied to my head, but I'm obsessed. I feel so good. Um, if you have short hair, this is 100% gonna work for you. If you have long hair, this will work for you. It might be a little bit greasy. It's never gonna be perfect with temporary hair color, you know. It does have to like lay on top of your hair and it does leave a little film, but it is linked below for you. It's amazing and it has such a good color payoff and it's so fun. Like, I'm obsessed. That was so easy to do and it was not messy and it doesn't look like that fake, I think. I feel like this should be my real hair color. What do you guys think? I don't know. You might see me next week with some blue hair. I'm also just so relieved we found something that I actually like. All right, now that I'm feeling fresh and feisty and blue, let's conclude today's video. That was fun. Temporary hair color is messy, like I remembered it to be. Protect your surroundings if you do this, because it'll get everywhere. But it's a lot of fun just having a temporary hair color that you know can just come right out of your hair and you can just wear it for a day. And take some good Instagram pictures and post it and pretend your hair is actually colored, which is probably what I'm gonna do today. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already and click the like button and the bell if you would like. Also, make sure you guys follow me on all the different social media networks. They're all right here listed out for you. Super easy, super fresh, super fun. Uh, make sure you guys text me. This is my 
number. Yes, I really get all your text messages. Yes, I can read them all. Yes, I can text you back and I will be choosing a few of you to do just that. Make sure you guys follow Xmond O'Hara on Instagram at Xmond O'Hara and check out all the hair care products we have to offer down below at xmondohair.com. Today's Instagram goes to Jocelyn and she says, I'm a mom of one. I have black hair. It's very long and thick. I haven't been feeling pretty with it lately as it's very boring. What do you think I should do with it? I sent a picture of myself below. Thanks for any tips. Okay, Jocelyn, what I'm gonna say right off the bat is do a haircut. Do a choppy chop, chop, chop. Go to your shoulders. I think it'd be so fun for you and a good change without changing the hair color, without doing anything too crazy. I think it's an easy thing you can do if you feel like you're not fresh enough. Go get some color done. Start off with some highlights maybe. Either one of those things I think will help you feel brand new and feel so cute and fresh and beautiful. If you end up doing it, let me know. Send me a picture. I would love to see it. That's all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.